Hello everyone. I am Poonam Chaubey. I am here with the very first chapter of your geography book, Our Environment, Class Seven. Chapter One is Environment. This chapter contains definition of environment, components of environment, natural environment. and its types human made environment human environment and ecosystem now the question is what is an environment we can define environment as surrounding of any organism which helps in its development or growth or survival is known as environment for example water water surrounding any organism help in its growth or development forest forest provide home or shelter to varieties of animals as well as it play very important role in carbon cycle rocks rocks contain minerals soil used for growth of plant minerals etc now we will see components of environment environment comprises of various things we can divide them into three groups natural environment means surrounding of any organism which occur naturally or created by nature human made environment as many thing around us are not favorable for our survival so people bring changes in them by modifying them to make their life comfortable so whatever things are modified by people around them called human made environment and next is human environment people have been kept in a separate group the important component of environment because human being is the only life which can change which can bring changes in their surrounding to make their life comfortable we can understand it with the help of examples natural human made and human environment see natural whatever exist naturally means occur naturally human made huh? as people can't survive completely in nature so they bring some changes in the nature to make their life comfortable and human being itself now we will learn detailed about natural environment natural environment consists of abiotic and biotic components of environment abiotic surrounding of any organism which occurs naturally consists of non living things non living things and helps in survival of organism for example land water air plants animals land provide place to live grow plants water is used for growth of plant and for drinking of animals air contain gases which are used for breathing purpose plants and animals provide varieties of items and they are dependent on each other now we will see a little detailed about them first is fear of land called lithosphere lithosphere is 
the uppermost solid layer of the earth consist of rocks and minerals the top of it is covered by a thin layer of soil which help in growth of plants and cultivation of crops the surface of lithosphere is not even it is highly irregular contains various land forms called mountains plateau plains valleys etc which occur on both continental part of the lithosphere or oceanic part of lithosphere then come hydrosphere a sphere of water or domains of all forms of water which exist in ocean bay gulf sea river thick sheets of ice in the form of vapor in the air which help in hydrological cycle then come atmosphere a thin layer of air that surrounds the earth it is held by the earth due to its gravitational force the air contain various gases which are essential for survival of life oxygen carbon dioxide which are useful for animals and plants atmosphere also protects living organism from the harmful impact of ultraviolet rays of the sun so it acts as a blanket then come biotic components of environment which consist of plants and animals this biotic component of environment exists where land water air meet with each other and provide a favorable condition for survival of life it is called biosphere it is also called a sphere of life or biosphere and it is found an in interaction between land water air together with plants and animals now with the help of diagram we will see the natural environment abiotic and biotic components of natural environment lithosphere the sphere of land solid portion of the earth atmosphere the sphere of gases surrounding the earth surface consists of various gases important for survival of life hydrosphere the sphere of water which is essential for then sphere of life forming biotic components of environment now biosphere biosphere means a sphere of life which is found where all these three spheres atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere interact with each other that is the sphere of life now we will see human made environment as human beings are different from all other form of life so they brings changes human beings interact with the nature and modify it according to their need to make their life comfortable for example they grow crops to get food items and other items they rear animals to get animal products for their survival they have also developed transport settlements factories constructed roads railways 
तो ऑल दीज आर डेवलप्ड बाय ह्यूमन बीइंग टू मेक देयर लाइफ कंफर्टेबल एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स अराउंड देम व्हिच आर डेवलप्ड बाय ह्यूमन बीइंग कॉल्ड ह्यूमन मेड एनवायरमेंट क्रिएट ह्यूमन मेड एनवायरमेंट ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल सराउंडिंग एनी ऑर्गेनिज्म क्रिएट्स इट्स ह्यूमन एनवायरमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल फैमिली कम्युनिटी रिलीजन एडुकेशन एक्सेट्रा देन पार्टर सिस्टम अ सिस्टम क्रिएटेड बाय पीपल इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ ट्रेड इन विच गुड्स आर एक्सचेंज विदाउट द यूज ऑफ मनी विच वॉज यूज इन पास टाइम a system exists between all the living organism including human being together with their physical and chemical components of environment in which they live all are interlinked by transfer of energy and materials any changes in any one of them affect the other plants growth of plants animals depends on surrounding physical components air water sunlight if plants are cleared temperature of that area increases temperature increases amount of precipitation decreases there is lack of water next plant plant will not grow in this way it affects the environment and affect the life of that area disturb the balance of ecosystem so that is why to protect the environment or surrounding 5th june every year 5th june is celebrated as world environment day Thank you